Everybody and welcome to another video with me a lot of pink and today I'm gonna show you today we're gonna do another Photoshop basics video and this will be all about selection tools and what they are I'm going to open an image so so I have an image of Mona Vanderwall in here and it's watercolored and it has a white background so it's really easy to remove the background okay so first we have the rectangular marquee tool and it's under the cursor and to open the menu you're gonna drag it to the left or downwards or you could just go right click and we have the rectangular marquee tool elliptical marquee tool single single row marquee tool single column marquee tool first we have the rectangular marquee tool and pretty much self-explanatory um it selects a rectangular shape maybe it may be a square or a rectangle to make it a perfect square hold down shift as you can see it will stay the same when you open any of these selection tools you will get this toolbar so in this toolbar we have these four square thingies or thingy magics right there so we're gonna explain it one by one the first one in here is just a regular one I'm going to create a square right over here and then when I try to create another square the square right here will disappear so if we select the second one it will overlap like so so next in our selection for the third one i'm going to create a new layer no i'm going to create a new selection another square if i selected the third one it will subtract whatever it is so for the last one i'm going to create another square right over here and i'm going to create another square right over here so basically it will take the overlapping sections i'm going to show it to you guys again i'm going to create a rectangle right over here and another right over here if i release this it will only get the overlapping sections like so there are so many things you can do with a selection i'm going to show you guys oh my god okay so when i create a selection like so when i go right click there's a deselect means to remove the selection like so and the shortcut key for that is Control d if i go right click again there's a thing called select inverse in select inverse it's pretty much self-explanatory it will select the parts that you didn't select like so now the selection only selected the ones I didn't select earlier to prove my point. Now we're gonna go right click again and there's this called feather. And this feather I'm going to increase it to a hundred pixels so you could see it properly. And it will lighten the square and basically make it soft on the edges. That's why it's called feather because it has like a feathery edge. So next we have refine edge and basically a pop-up window will appear and this is the original picture it doesn't show oh okay it doesn't show the original okay this is the original picture with the selection tool and this is the white part that you see is the part that we selected and the red part is the part that will be removed if we deleted the outer layer wow this is what it looks like on black what it looks like on white what it looks like in black and white this is what it looks like if we cut the layer out and this is the original one without the selection or anything okay so i'm gonna put it on black so you can see it properly and you can't really tell the difference between the radius right now because it's a perfect square um you could smoothen out the edges and so for feather we're gonna adjust it so you can see the difference it basically softens the edge next we have contrast and Right now you couldn't really see it you couldn't tell the difference as of right now because this is a square selection and shift edges it's just gonna move the edge inwards or outwards so another thing is you can save your selection and i'm going to create a layer via copy and this is this is the copy that we made and if you create it by layer via copy it will the original picture will remain untouched but if you do it layer via cut it will cut out the photo it will cut out the photo from its original photo it will basically separate it a shortcut key for layer via copy is control drag you're gonna go right click fill and this is really stupid of me but i selected content aware but you could use foreground color background color or select 
color of your own. Let's choose a really a ruby red kind of a dark a deep dark red color and i'm gonna put it on 50 percent so we can see the difference and click okay so basically it fills the whole selection with it's basically self-explanatory so next we have stroke so i'm going to put it on 25 pixels and change the color to red a burgundy color and you could put it inside center or outside of the stroke will be on the outside of the selection let's show it to you guys so you can see it's outside but if you put it on center it will be evenly distributed around the selection and if you put it on inside it will be in the inside of the selection so you're gonna go right click face stroke and you could you could pretty much adjust opacity and just one tip for you guys whenever you're making something always create a new layer so you could adjust blending mode the opacity the fill and you can move it around so it's it's not really practical to edit the picture just put a stroke in here on the original image that is really terrible next i'm going to show you the elliptical marquee tool basically it has the similar aspects as that of the rectangular marquee tool except that this is circular next we have the single row marquee tool so you don't have to create one you just point somewhere and it will appear i use this in one of my videos the diy bookmarks using photoshop and i know you can't really see it but if you zoom in you can see that there is a there's a line right here you can fill it with red and i think it's worth one pixel it's the size of one pixel so it's really tiny and i'm going to deselect and as you can see it's really tiny really small next we have the single hollow marquee tool basically pretty much the same it's the size of one pixel again next we have these selection tools which we have the lasso tool polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool so the lasso tool you basically have to hold your mouse and draw it draw whatever you want draw around whatever you want to select and then for an example it's still far away and i just release my mouse it will form a straight line towards the two loose ends it has the same options right over here now we're gonna move on to polygonal lasso tool and polygonal lasso tool i really love this one it's great for creating geometrical shapes you click 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 and double click if you want to connect the last two points it's really good if you want a jagged edge and pretty much self-explanatory since it says polygonal lasso tool it creates many polygons and it also has the same options right over here next we have the magnetic lasso tool so in the magnetic lasso tool click one point and then it becomes attracted to your icon and it automatically selects it just as long as you stay close to your designated area and you click to the other end you don't have to click you just have to drag your mouse over your image for your item and as you can see it's really good it's really good for cutting out shapes except for selecting hair if you're trying to select hair using the magnetic lasso tool um it's pretty hard on the next tool we have the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool okay so we're gonna start with a quick selection tool first it's basically a circle and we have three selections in here and this one is like the normal one you don't Trap. next we have the addition one and basically it's pretty much the same as the normal one it adds more selection to the image selects more and next we have the subtract from selection and it subtracts from the selection obviously if you don't want this part to be selected you can just click on it and all of those fun stuff and you could adjust the hardness the size of your brush spacing around this angles um you could also adjust the pen pressure and all of that stuff but i don't mess with it because i don't really need to i'm going to go and i'm going to select the whole image 
this picture is easy to select so this is why this is why i selected this image because it's a drawing but if it's a real person it can take a lot of time to select to create a selection perfectly and i'm going to go refine edge as you can see this is what it looks like i'm gonna put i'm gonna put it on black so you can see the difference and this is our original image and this is where the refine edge comes in handy you could adjust smoothness of the layer like so add some feathers a bit so make to make the edges smooth and contrast you can make it as hard as like that or as soft like that and if it's less pixelated right this is the original photo and this is the refined edge it's less pixelated than the first one its edges are less jagged and we, we can shift the edges we can pull it inside and outside and you can click ok you're just gonna go layer by cut or layer by copy right click layer by cut or layer by copy so i'm going to go control J, and you can see our finished product so hey okay, so using the lasso tool polygonal lasso tool magnetic lasso tool quick selection and magic wand selection tool you can go freeform and the shortcut for freeform is Control t but you could also right click freeform and basically you could adjust it how you you can play around with it like how you play with freeform also you could go right click transform selection and you could adjust it bigger or make it bigger or smaller and it only affects the selection and not the image you could work with that and what else pretty much the same stuff fill stroke save selection next tool we have is the magic wand tool and it pretty much works like like magic i'm going to select the white part press delete and wow look at that okay so the magic wand tool works like the rest of them they have the same options you could add more stuff using the second option you could remove more stuff using the third option and you can select the similar parts using the fourth option you could play around with the sample size and the only thing that you might you want to watch out is the tolerance and the higher the tolerance the more colors it tolerates and you have to be careful with that especially with pictures that i have a lot of colors so for example the original tolerance that i have is 32 and i select this it selects two thirds of her hoodie but if i put it on 100 it selects more than what we selected earlier when i put it on 10 it selects less it selects like one fourth of her hoodie i put a selection around her right click make work path and i'm just gonna go and click ok and what it does is that it makes this line around it oh it's called a work path so a work path can be made by the pen tool freeform pen tool anchor point tool delete anchor point tool convert point tool and these tools are what you use to create a work path i'm going to explain quickly what a work path is i'm going to make a triangle right over here this is a work path you can go right click and you can make a selection out of it just the reverse of what it did, did earlier and you could you could also fill in the path just like what we did earlier you can also stroke and you could simulate pressure if you simulate pressure it starts from a small it starts really small it gets big and it gets small again as it goes to the end that was just an overview of what you can do with a work path and we're just talking about selection tools so i think that's basically it those are all of the selection tools that i know of if i missed something please do comment down below so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video subscribe for more videos every friday i do photoshop tutorials pc personalizations sims 4 videos and vlogs and Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.